A Sports. It's in the game. Live from the Celtics Arena in Boston. We're getting set for the Boston Celtics against the Orlando Magic. Hi, everybody. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr. And we are just moments away from the opening tip. Let's check out the starting lineups presented by T-Mobile. Well, they have to find a way to contain Kevin Garnett, but it's really impossible. This guy is so talented. He can do it all. I think you've got to try to force him to take perimeter shots, but even that might not work. Garnett looking to get open. Here's Nelson. And the field goal. Looking to shake free. Oh, with the crossover. That was a three-point attempt. And Ray Allen able to knock it down. So that's their first three of the night. Steve Ray Allen, one of the premier pure shooters, perhaps of all time. And I think what makes him unique, Marv, is that not only does he have range, but he can create his own shot off the dribble. He's virtually unguardable when he has it going. The pass to Carter. Shot clock to seven. The ball is not loose. Pierce walking it up. And Michael Petrus called for the foul. That's his first. Pierce at the line. He's an 82% free throw shooter. Well, Pierce, a guy who gets to the line among the leaders uh, last season in free throw attempts. Well, he reminds me a little bit in that regard of Corey Maggette, just that incredibly strong body combined with the, the great shooting touch. And when you have that ability to, to knock down perimeter shots and get to the rim, uh, you're going to draw your share of fouls. And 
and rebounded by Howard. Nelson moving it across. Delivery to Lewis. Carter taking it to the rim. Handled by Garnett. Marv, you've got to finish that play. When you get into the paint, you get that kind of penetration, you have to come away with some points. Pass to Allen. Wallace able to hustle it down and they can reset. Wow, with authority on that dunk. Well, defensively, they were too aggressive, Marv, and they weren't ready for the slip. They thought the pick was coming, and by being so aggressive, they gave up the easy pass. Loses control of it. The Magic will get to inbound. Pass. Allen looking for the pick. And Rashard Lewis called for the foul. That's his first. And Ray Allen to the line. Here's a player over his career who has been automatic at the line. Steve, you look back when Danny Ainge made the deal for Ray Allen. It turned out that was very instrumental in convincing Kevin Garnett to come to Boston. Yeah, that's right, because uh, remember, there had been a, a previous attempt at making that deal with Minnesota that Garnett denied. So you know, once Allen was on board, I think KG realized he had a chance at a championship in Boston. Pierce walks to the front court. The pass to Garnett. Wallace able to keep it alive. And the bucket. That's a 10 run for the Celtics. This team has to regain its composure, Marv. This deficit is growing steadily. They're in danger of letting this thing get out of hand. Pierce in possession. Delivery to Garnett. Oh, he just blew it. Well, it's important for this club not to lose focus now, Marv. They're off to a quick start, but got to finish plays like that. And Vince Carter able to knock it down. So that's their first three of the night. Rondo to the front court. Pass to Garnett. Rondo finding the open man. And scores. Nelson walks it across. to Pierce with the bucket. And Steve, he is one of the strongest two guards in the NBA. Well, and you could see him use that strength there, Marv, on that turnaround jump shot. He, he really bullies his opponent, creates some space, and gets that shot off against anybody. Allen comes across. Delivery to Garnett. Allen trying to break free. Saves it from going out of bounds. Petrus takes it away. What a phenomenal effort there, Mark. Diving on the floor to, to get that loose ball. And, you know, that's the kind of play that excites a team and really gets everybody going. Snatched by Garnett. Nelson digging in defensively. The Celtics keep the possession going. Kevin Garnett taking it to the rim. Mark, good offensive rhythm usually leads to second chance opportunities because you've got good position on the boards. Rondo moving to the front court. Pass to Allen. He fires from downtown. Yes, able to drill it. Allen is two for two from the three-point line. Steve, we've often talked about the quickness of the shot of Ray Allen, how fast he gets it off, and the fact he is one of the terrific pure shooters in the game. Is this something that he developed over the years, or did he have it even in his college days at UConn? Well, I think he's increased his range since he's been in the NBA, Mark, but this guy is a pure shooter, and, and generally pure shooters are born. I mean, he's had this stroke probably since he was a little kid. Carter on the pull-up. The first quarter is in the books. The Magic trail by 10. Oh. 
Steve, I know you have been through this on many an occasion. Long road trip, back-to-back -back games. Team gets in late last night. I mean, how do you recover from that? Well, that's what I see right now, Marv. It's just fatigue for this team. They've got to weather the storm here early on, get their game going. The big thing now, take care of the basketball, hit the boards, play solid D, and just get yourself back into the game. Garnett trying to break free. The pass to Allen. Rondo on a quick release from downtown. Misfires on the three. Kevin Garnett driving to the rim. Boy, you just have to love Garnett. So emotional, so passionate about this game. Delivery to Lewis. Rebound by Garnett. Well, I'm not so sure about that shot, Marv. It was contested, a little bit wild. Not very good rhythm to this offense right now. Rondo looking for the ball. Shot clock is down to seven. Rondo, nice move. And he converts. Great job using that high screen or freeing himself up for a jump shot. The pass picked off. Pierce bringing it across. Pass to Wallace. Garnett resets. A little extra on that one. Well, he is a matchup nightmare for the defense, Marv. He's too big for smaller players, and if you try to put a big man on him, he's just too quick. The pass to Petrus. Nelson on a quick release, and Dwight Howard with the assist. Defense by Nelson. Rondo walking it up. Delivery to Garnett. Allen pulls up for the shot. Grabbed by Howard. Carter off balance. Unable to hit the three. Rondo moving it across. Pass to Allen. He fires from downtown. Well, you have to love the way he gets out and challenges the shot. When you're trying to come back from a deficit, this is the only way to do it. Play solid defense. The pass to Howard. Shot block. Shot clock is down to five. Carter on the quick release and scores. Rondo walks to the front court. That was a three-point attempt. Howard ends up with it. And rebounded by Garnett. So important to make the defense work, especially when there's plenty of time left in the ball game. Got to get the ball inside. Here's Pierce. And Rasheed Wallace with the assist. Delivery to Petrus, going for three. And Michael Petrus able to knock it down. A minute and a half remaining in the second. Orlando down by eight. Rondo in possession. Pass to Allen, shoots for three. Carter to the front court. Nice pass, Petrus. Again, the magic control. Now that's unfortunate there, Marv. Trailing, they've got to take advantage of every opportunity they have. Easy shot that's missed, point blank. Nelson giving no room. Oh, what a collision, that's gotta hurt. Very poor execution there, Marv. It's a close game, you've got to try to build some kind of an advantage. You've gotta be sharper than that. Carter able to pull it back. Marv, if they expect to come away with a victory here tonight, they're going to have to get better shot attempts than that one. And Paul Pierce made a sensational pass. Down to a half minute remaining in the half. Orlando down by seven. Three second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. The pass to Pierce. And he gets the friendly roll. The match.
Magic control. Lewis fires it out. Handled by Garnett. Pierce walks it across. That's the end of quarter number two. The Magic trail by nine. The Magic with a poor performance in the first half. They have been a very good second half team. What do they have to do to turn things around? Well, you're right. They've made a number of comebacks this season, Marv. And normally, those are instigated by solid defense. So look for them to play the passing lanes, get out there, and try to force some havoc defensively. Garnett looking to get open. Rejected. Wallace looks like he's injured. Hopefully nothing serious. The Celtics will get to throw in. You know, we see that pretty often. Our guys uh, maybe stepping backwards off of a three-point shot or, or maybe driving baseline and stepping on that line. It's a little tougher than it looks sometimes to keep your foot out of that out-of-bounds area. has played through that injury. Must not be too serious. Yeah, he was shaken up, Mark, but it, it looks like he's going to be okay. Remember, this is a pretty tough guy we're talking about. I mean, if this were Marv Albert, he's probably on a stretcher right now, but it's not Marv. Pierce comes across. Delivery to Garnett and scores. Well, I think they've done a nice job tonight offensively running their sets. They look very effective. They're finding the open shooter. They've developed a good groove here tonight. Howard with the bounce pass. Well, the big thing now is execution, Marv. If you can continue to get shots like that one, you know, maybe you get hot and get back into the ballgame. Rondo moving to the front court. Going down low. Wallace has a shot block. Now you can see there why he's one of the top shot blockers in the NBA. Mark, great anticipation and physically just incredibly quick and active. Anytime you find yourself behind, it's important to defend every possession. That's how you get back into games. Rondo with a nice pass. And the field goal. Garnett is five for six from the field. Steve, you know, with his length, it is so difficult to challenge Garnett's perimeter shot. Well, and then you add to that the fact that he releases the ball way above his head. It reminds me a little bit of Rasheed Wallace. It's very difficult to actually get a hand up and bother him. Rondo bringing it across. Oh, the spin! Mark, absolutely terrific defense, challenging the shot. And this is what you have to do when you've fallen behind and you're trying to get back into a ball game. And Dwight Howard at the line for the first time. Howard was the top pick in the 2004 NBA draft won by Orlando. And he is quickly developing into one of the best players in the NBA. An amazing athlete at 6'11". Long arms, very active, and he will continue to get better as he works on his offensive game. Pierce walking it up. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Orlando down by nine. Much better defense that time, Marv. They're going to get back into this ball game if they continue to do that. Nelson looking for the open man. Pierce with a nice pass, and he hits it. Yeah, that was great execution on that set right there, Marv. And they've been doing it all night. That's how they've built this lead. Really, really sound offense. Oh, he loses it. Wallace comes up with a steal. 
and Michael Petrus trying to take it away, and that's his second. Boston's game has been on a different level here tonight. Well, that's right, Marv. They've had a really good balanced scoring night so far as a team, and they've really executed their offense beautifully. You take a look at some of these replays, the ball movement, the spacing. All of a sudden, you get open shots from all over the floor. And that's how you end up taking a lead in a game like this. Beautiful shot. Carter is two for five from three-point territory. Rondo moving it across. Pass to Pierce. Yes, hits the three. Well, they've been really effective offensively tonight, Marv. That's one of the reasons they're winning this game. They've found a nice rhythm. They're getting open looks, and they're really sharing the ball. And Jameer Nelson with a nice look. Smart move there, Marv. When you're down, it's important to really be aggressive. Get something attacking towards the rim in the paint, and that might jumpstart this club. Boy, is this kid a great defender, Marv? He just seems to anticipate plays before they happen. Another dunk from Howard. We've seen an awful lot of that the last few years, Marv, since he entered the league. Rondo walks to the front court. The pass to Wallace. Rondo on the fade. Controlled by Howard. Good look. Lewis able to extend. Yes. It's a beautiful shot there. This club really wants to finish strong in this quarter, Marvin. Here's a two-for-one opportunity they can take advantage of. And Ray Allen with ten points. Well, this team has shown really solid execution all night. That's why they have the lead. They're setting good screens, making good sharp cuts to the basket, and they're taking high-percentage shots. Rondo in possession. the end of the third quarter the magic trail by seven as we head to the fourth quarter Steve as you know you've been there before this game is still within reach well anytime you have a, a comfortable lead and you're at home Marv it's important to try to close things out and you do that with defense. You don't want to trade buckets here. You've got to make stops and really continue to build this lead. Here's Nelson. Rondo on the rebound. Well, they can get much better shots, but they've got to find a flow to their game offensively. Rondo with the bounce pass. Swatted away. Delivery to Carter. Able to take it hard to the rim. That's great defense, Mar, but that's too good. Nice touch around the hoop. Nelson giving no room. Pass to Allen. And rebounded by Lewis. Mar, every possession counts, especially in the second half with a close game going in. You shoot a tough shot like that, that's a bad possession. That's assist number five for Mikhail Petrus. Boy, it's fourth quarter, Mar. You can't give up such easy hoops. Wallace trying to break free. And Rashard Lewis called for his second. Rondo at the line, first time tonight. to hit the second after missing the first. Nelson to the front court. He shoots from three-point territory. And Rashard Lewis with an excellent feed. Rondo able to beat his man off the dribble. And Paul Pierce off the mark. Tipped home by Garnett. This has been a clinic offensively, Mark. They're running their sets beautifully, spacing the floor, getting good shots, getting the ball inside. They're showing it all tonight. Oh. Handled by Garnett. Oh, he got a hand on it. Garnett with a lazy pass. All right, let's take a look at tonight's Sprite dunk of the night. Rondo walks it across. 
Good job by Nelson. And Rasheed Wallace could not finish. And Paul Pierce with that beautiful touch inside. Second chance points, Mar. They kill you. You've got to secure that defensive rebound. The pass to Carter. Petrus with an excellent look. Five on the 24. That's six assists for Mikhail Petrus. Rondo comes across. Delivery to Pierce. Oh, with the crossover. The Celtics on the glass. And Kevin Garnett scores. Nice move. Well, if they want to get the lead back in this game, Mark, they're going to have to secure the boards and find a way to keep this team from getting easy baskets. Pass to Lewis. Nelson with a nice look. Yes! Rondo finding room. Oh. Taking it strong. Very ill-advised shot, Mark, but really it's a result of a very poor offensive execution on that possession. Garnett able to hustle it down. He has pulled down rebound number 15. Tip. The pass to Garnett. Let's it fall. Pierce able to chase it down. Another defensive stop. You can feel the momentum changing a little bit here, Mark. Delivery to Howard. Nelson gets it back to him. From deep. Oh, what a shot. Marv, that's what this game is going to come down to. Offensive execution in the clutch. A great set play there. Pass to Allen. Fires. Howard able to reach for it. Marv, most coaches want four or five passes before a shot. That one was way too early in the possession. With a clutch bucket. That's a 17 to 9 run for the Magic. Mark, this is why you continue to play when you're losing a game. You can't quit. If you continue to fight, you never know what might happen. Now to tonight's Sprite performer of the game. Fires. Box out by Garnett. It's a loose ball. Steve, we've reached the point. These are all critical possessions. Puts it up. Oh, a clutch shot. That's a smart play, Mark. If you have the open jumper coming off that screen and roll, especially against the switch defensively, I think you go ahead and take it. Rashad Lewis lays it in. What a pass to set it up. That's a 19 to 11 run for the Magic. Mark, this team has not only given up their lead, but all of a sudden they find themselves behind. They've got to start competing defensively. That's what got them the lead in the first place. And Vince Carter called for the foul. That's his first. Rondo at the line. Game on the line. So much pressure. And somehow you've got to calm yourself down and relax and just shoot the shots. Two pressure free throws, but they're still up by a point. Garnett called for the intentional foul. Oh, he fouled him intentionally, and that'll mean free throws. And Vince Carter at the line for the first time. These free throws become so critical in this situation. You've got to make two to make it a three-point game. That changes everything. takes a tight up. Mark, every coach in the NBA has a menu of what they call ATOs, after timeout plays. They're going to go to something they're very comfortable with, probably try to get the ball to their go-to man. It's the screen. Snatched by Petrus. Oh, that's a foul to stop the clock, and he'll go to the line. 
Petrus at the line, first time tonight. Well, strategically, everything hinges here on whether he can make both of these free throws, Mark. A three-point lead is huge. It allows the defense to cover that line at the other end. He missed the mark, so they trail by one. And Doc Rivers takes a timeout. Mark, this is where coaches look at their menu of ATOs after timeout plays. Everybody's got them. They're going to look at matchups here, try to pick the best one, and try to get a score. Nice box out by Connor. And there's the final buzzer. The Magic takes this one. Final score is 54 to 53. Jameer Nelson is the high point man with 17 points. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr saying so long from Celtics Arena.